This is Math 98, practice test number two, problems 20, 21, and 22. So we're solving these equations, and all these equations have radicals in them. And so what I'm going to do, first off, to get rid of that radical on this one is square both sides. And if I square both sides, the square root squared is just the thing that was in there. 3 squared is 9. Add 1 to both sides. 2y equals 10 divided by 2 y is 5. I'm going to plug it back in to check it, make sure it works. 2 times 5 is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. Yep, got it. All right, so 21. So notice I'm taking the square root of something, and I'm getting a negative answer. That's not going to happen. So I, I might notice right away there's no solution, and just be done and move on. If I don't notice it, and I go through the steps, I will get an answer, but it's a false answer. So square both sides. Then I get 4x plus 1 equals negative 5 squared is 25. Notice that squaring masks the negative, that that was a negative. This is why I get a false answer. Subtract 1. 4x equals 24. x equals 6. So it feels good, but if I plug it back in, 24 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25. The square root of 25 is not negative 5, so it does not check out. So even if I don't see that right away and I get an answer, I'd have to remember to check it. 22. Uh, square root of something equals the square root of something else. Oh, yeah. Well, square both sides. That does away with those square roots. And now it's just a little algebra problem. Subtract 2a from both sides. It was already an algebra problem. It's an easier algebra problem is what I meant. 5a minus 1 equals 4. Plus 1 plus 1. 5a equals 5. A equals 1. Let's check it. 7 minus 1. Uh, 7 times 1 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. So square root of... Oh, 6. I'm sorry. 7 times 1 is 7 minus 1 is 6. Square root of 6... 2 times 1 is one is 2, plus 4 is 6, square root of 6. Checks out, it works.